Hello everyone again, my name is Sifi Dean, your science teacher for this course, and that's the second part, which is adaptation in plants. But before we get in started in this lesson, I need to ask you a question. Is that plant important to us? Is it that matter? Mm, look at this figure and also to this picture. What do you see here? That's the difference. This is our bird with the plant. And this is our bird without plants. So the plant is really important. It's a kind of food for us. But Mr. Safe, I don't like to eat much vegetables or fruit. I like meat. I like chicken. But all of these are parts of the animals. Even if you don't like vegetables or fruits, although they are healthy to build up your body, but they are important because it's the source of food for animals, such as chicken, such as the cow, which are important because it's your food. And also, the plant is really important because it produces for us the oxygen, the gas that we need to breathe. So the plant is really this is important. why we are going to study adaptation in plants. Adaptation means how the plants stay alive, how do they survive. Let's start by this activity. Let's do it together. In front of you, around this plant, lots of requirements. But which one of them is necessary for the plant life? You can see here, sun, water, a sandwich, juice, soil with nutrients, eggs, air, and donuts. <laughs> Which one of them um, do you recommend? It's really important, not for you, it's for the plant, okay? It's for the plant. Now, you, I know you like donuts, but maybe the plant doesn't eat donuts. So the plant needs what? It needs sun, excellent, water, perfect, sandwich, juice, they need soil and nutrients. Also, they need air to stay alive, like the rest of living organisms. So, how the plant can adapt in their environment, this is our topic. This is why I brought to you these examples. The examples in front of you are different because they live in different places. They do not live in the same place. Each plant needs to take the life requirements taken by its parts, the roots, the stem, and the leaves. If you can take a look here, you can see the leaves are not the same shape. You can see the stem is not the same size. You can see the roots also are different. That means the plant change something in their body to survive according to the environment. Let's start with this one. This is one of the activities that I prepare for you to simplify your mission. Here you have polar vision, watery places, and desert. And three different plants, but be careful, they are here randomly. Which one of these plants can survive in such a cold place, like the polar vision? You are looking to the right one, this one over there. It's the pine tree. It lives, it can survive in this place. What's gonna happen or what happens when the pine tree is delivered or is moved to the desert? If you put it here, the answer is simple. It's gonna die, cannot survive. The same here. That's the Burberry fig. That's the Burberry fig. It lives in the desert. So this plant lives here. It can survive there. And finally, the mangrove tree. This is really important tree in our lesson. It lives in watery places, especially if it was salty. These are the answers of the previous question. And here is the beginning the most common tree in grade four, the acacia tree. The acacia tree lives in Southern Africa, in a forest known as savanna forest. 
as you can see here it's a kind of forest looks like desert but we have differences here we have grass but it's short trees over there around and also they are short the longest one in the savanna forest is the acacia tree this is why it's a special tree how the acacia tree adapts in such a hot place because as you can see here no water on the surface it's not watery forest it's not rainy forest it's a kind of forest but looks like desert in the conditions so hot and so sunny so the acacia tree adapted in this place by the following number one the leaves are small and i'm really specific in these words the leaves are small also it has spines sharp spines why they have sharp spines to reduce losing the water to reduce the water loss if the leaf was so big it loses much water but if it's small it loses small amount of water and also it helps the acacia tree to survive by keeping the animals away if the animals are coming to eat the leaves the sharpest pines protect it from the animals also as you can see here the acacia tree takes the umbrella shape so it's umbrella shaped tree what about the leaves we said small and sharp spines the next part is really important do you see here the stem it makes the acacia tree the longest one in this place so the acacia tree has long stem the next part is really important do you see the roots mm, it seems like the roots underground that's normal okay but how long are these roots are they short roots or long roots long roots why there is no much water on the surface how can the tree adapt by having very deep long roots underground to catch the water from underground so do they have short roots or long roots long roots deeply underground we call this tap root the next part is really important <laughs> do they have behavioral adaptation because the previous was a structure the answer is yes <laughs> they do they have behavioral adaptation by producing kind of poison poison means toxic material makes their leaf bad taste they have bad taste in their leaf after producing this kind of poison so the giraffe or the animals that maybe come to eat their leaves feel like it's bad taste so leave it so it's a kind of behavioral adaptation because they produce poison it's an action not a part of the body also they send smelly messages in the ear to warn the other nearby acacia tree around if for example the giraffe is coming to eat it produces the poison to make their leaves bad taste and smell and also send the message to the other nearby acacia tree their family and tell them be careful the giraffe is coming to eat produce poison so it seems like also the plants are smart and here the second tree which is kapok tree do you see how long is this tree very long but it lives in different place it lives in amazon rainforest this is the rainforest rain it has water on the surface yes keep it in mind because if the water on the surface no need to put the roots deeply underground so no tap root here the buttress roots are found in Amazon rainforest they are found in the kipok tree how large are these roots they are so large look at the size of the human comparing the size of the roots they are giant but where can we find them overground 
roots over ground yes but it doesn't make sense no it makes sense where can we find the water in Amazon rainforest it's a rainforest so we have lots of water over ground this is why the roots grow up over ground to catch the water mm -hmm. good point keep it in mind but the name is different this is buttress roots not taproot taproot in the acacia tree look at the leaves here of the kapok tree it's different yes it's not small mr safe i'm not talking about the size i'm talking about the shape the shape it looks like the hand shape so this is so special leaves and they are found in the kapok tree so why do they have this shape of uh, leaves to allow the air pass gently here a short comparison between both of the trees here is the kapok tree here is the acacia tree what's special about the acacia tree remember yes the leaves are small and they have sharp spines excellent and tap roots here what's special here it's so long it has hand shaped leaves and the roots are over ground which is buttress roots look at this amazing here for furthermore details you can find here the sharp spines and here you can find the hand shaped leaves keep this comparison in your mind to okay talk about two more plants here both live in watery places but it seems like they are different in shape and in the size which one of them do you like to start with if you choose the water lily plant so i catch your answer right the water lily plant one of the plants that looks like wide leaves and this is really important they are wide to absorb much more sunlight and also they live in fresh water but this one is different this is the mangrove tree it lives in salty water not fresh salty water in the seas oceans and so on and they don't have this kind of wide leaves but they have strong roots is this for purpose yes that's compared between the water lily roots and the mangrove roots and you will know why the mangrove tree has so strong roots the answer is simple the water lily lives in fresh water there is no strong waves in the fresh water so they don't need the strong roots they already float in the water but here the matter is that we live in salty water and we have strong waves if it doesn't have strong roots to resist waves it will fall down and die so give reason the mangrove tree has strong roots why they have long roots to resist the waves if this your answer you catch it right <laughs> amazing the last two plants here we have the pine tree and the berberry fig one of them lives in polar climate and the other one lives in the desert i guess we should start by the pine tree it looks like a triangle so from the descriptions of the pine tree it has a triangular shape it has a triangular shape it looks like a triangle and it lives in polar climate there is a link between this there is a link between this and this living in polar climate that means the snow will fall down if it has no triangular shape if the shape wasn't a triangular the snow will not fall down so give reason the pine tree has a triangular shape to let the snow fall down and also the leaves of the pine tree is so special it's extremely small not just small extremely small we call this needle leaves so which tree has needle leaves pine tree the branches also are short 
it helps the, uh, the pine tree to take the strangler shape. So um, finally, <laughs> we have the Berber fig. <laughs> the Berber fig, one of the plants that grow up in desert, <clears throat> it has, as you know, sharp spines. So don't try to touch it with your hands like this. Make sure to wear gloves before to touch it. And that's a full comparison between the pine tree and the Burberry fig here. Three things are special. Shorter branches, triangular shape, and needle leaves. Here we have sharp spines and also really amazing smart question for smart students only. Which size of roots does the Burberry fig have? Do they have short roots or long roots? Think. If it's long roots, give yourself a big hand. I'm gonna show you why. Here, the Berber fig lives in desert. So there is no water on the surface. It must have long, deep roots underground to catch water to grow up. Excellent. And this is the link of the game. Consider this a surprise from me to you because you were amazing in this lesson. I'm going to show you right now what to do in this game. This is a gift from me to you because you were amazing in the lesson. I have 26 levels of questions in this game. Click here on the link below, pick up preview and then click on start. It's going to be initiated for you here. It's loading. Ready, go. Which of the following has short roots? Let's try it together. Pine tree, I didn't mention the size of the root. Acacia tree, no, it lives in deserts, so it has large roots. Kapok tree, it lives in Amazon rainforest and it has large roots. But water lily, yes. It has short roots because it doesn't need long roots. It lives in fresh water. So I guess this is the right answer. You're gonna earn points, some gifts. They're gonna help you in this competition to take more points with your teammates. You're gonna find here some questions about the previous animals Everything in this game is found in the link below. Don't forget to like, ask me any question in the comment below, and see you soon. Goodbye.